my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Marissa, and I'm really happy that you guys are here for today. We, I'm doing a Vlogmas video for you guys. I'm going to be filming all day. I have several things that I want to get done. I've got some house cleaning that needs to be done. Um, I've got some projects in the kitchen that I want to do. You won't see all of those in this video in detail. You'll see me in there working, but I won't be going over everything and explaining it until another video. That All that will be in another video. Um, so I've got that I want to do today. My nails have <laughs> reached their um, lifespan limit. So I'm going to um, get take my nails off. <clears throat> and then this evening, I'm super excited because this evening we are going to watch It's a Wonderful Life in person. And my daughter is actually in the play. She plays Mary Bailey in the play. And so we, I'm so excited. If you saw the video before this one, I think, but right before or a couple before, anyway, I was watching It's a Wonderful Life and I told you guys that that is my all-time favorite Christmas movie. It probably is in the top three of my favorite all-time movies ever. Um, but we're going to see it in person. I've seen it in person twice. Uh, I think the first two times was at a theater. You guys may have heard of it, Barter Theater in Abingdon, Virginia. Um, we've seen it there a couple of times. And then the production company that my daughter is involved in, they're doing it this year. And so I'm excited and I cannot wait to go see it. Um, a few weeks back, you guys saw in a video, my son was in a, in a, play it was a variety show at the production company where he that he's involved in so both of them are involved with theater different companies and so it's a lot of fun for mom and dad to get to go watch them do their thing so i'm excited about this evening i'm just going to take you along with me on my day and, um just you know finish drinking my coffee and then get right into it i've already been to the doctor this morning i had to go get um two shots. I have um, allergy shots that I right now I'm getting two times a week and then it'll be one time a week and it kind of for the next four or five years I'll be getting these shots regularly. So um, I have that going on and there's something else. Oh, a grocery order coming. And I can't remember what else. So we'll see what happens. You guys will see. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. Hey guys, I have a quick grocery haul here that I'm going to go over with you guys. And first thing we have are some frozen fruit. I've got blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. I have a recipe that I'm doing. Um, it, anyway, that involves three of these. And then this one is for a canning project that I have. Um, some tater tots, again, for another meal that I'm going to be prepping and working on. I have some sourdough. This is going to go with the, the fruit. I'm going to take you guys along with me in this cooking plan that I have with all these groceries. But um, some sourdough bread, some shredded hash browns. My daughter asked me to make a hash brown casserole for a potluck she's going to. And so I've got that and... I'll see what I, oh yeah and then the um these right here um, i put this on top of the hash brown casserole and it's really good i needed some sugar for my canning project some bananas my uh, grandbaby loves a banana she we share a banana almost every day so bananas i was out of diapers for her i um, needed some christmas cards for um for church my church family people that i write cards to all of them i write cards to and um these are for the cooking projects that i have that i'll be working on again i needed some sausage for a project i needed cheese for a project and then eggs um again my grandbaby's eating eggs almost every day i'll scramble her and eggs so i was out of eggs oh gosh i'll look at my nails i gotta fix these this one looks terrible too anyway eggs i was out of eggs and then I always like to have some of these Bob Evans mashed potatoes on hand because I can 
pull something out of the freezer that I've prepped, like a meatloaf or something like that. And this is a quick side, easy side to heat up before that. And so this is my grocery haul. Um, short and sweet. I didn't need it. We didn't need a lot. I just needed a few things for just some specific project, cooking projects that I have coming up. So that is my grocery. My daughter had asked if I would fix her some scrambled eggs for lunch on this day and so I said sure and then I fixed her and I both some eggs. This has bec become a normal lunch for us because when I keep my grandbaby she likes scrambled eggs and so I'm fixing scrambled eggs pretty much every day and I don't mind it at all. So I'm getting these um, eggs ready for her and then I'm working on a canning project this is some spiced Christmas jam that I am making for um, Christmas gifts. So on this day, I'm working on this. And then I'm also working on some cranberry juice with some fresh cranberries. And again, those, will, they may turn out to be um, Christmas presents. I don't know. We'll see. But as I'm working on these projects, I'm also tidying up the kitchen just a little bit as I go along. <laughs> are with the star of It's a Wonderful Life. Tell me, Miss Emily, what kind of grand experiences are you having doing this play, playing this role? No, no, no pictures. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Emily has already left, so I want to fill you in a little bit on what the plans are for this evening. Um, as you know, I've heard me, you've heard me say Emily is in, I gotta slow down and catch my breath. She is um, super excited about this play. It is one of her favorites, the movie. And growing up, I made my kids watch this video. And I mean, watch this movie. And um, they didn't really appreciate it when they were younger. Now, Emily is so appreciative because she loves It's a Wonderful Life. And if you guys have not seen It's a Wonderful Life, you need to put it on your bucket list for this Christmas. And we'll go watch it. And watch the um, black and white version. It's much better than the color, my, in my opinion. So, 
when she found out they were doing this play at her production company, um, she tried out for Mary and she got the role. And so you have to know my daughter. She stressed a little bit about portraying it, you know, to do it justice. And um, she stressed and anyway, I've heard, I haven't seen her do it yet, but last week, last weekend was their opening weekend. And um, so I, feedback, she did great. Um, they say it's some of the best they've ever seen her do. So she's excited to do it and she's a little nervous to do it in front of her mom and dad. Only because I've always made a big deal about it. About how much I love the movie. So, what we did is we told a bunch of our family that we were going tonight. And if they wanted to go and surprise Emily to let us know. And so, we ended up with about 17, a group of 17 that's going tonight. And she has no idea. Um, my son and his wife... Um, we're out of town today, so they weren't going to get to go tonight, but they went Sunday and saw it, and um, I think Alex told Emily that I would love it, so that makes me even more excited because they know what this movie means to me. So, um, there's 17 of us going. She has no idea, and the way she was talking today about how nervous she is just to do it in front of us, I hope that... <clears throat> We haven't done a bad thing by having a bunch of us show up tonight. So, <clears throat> I ended up getting seats reserved. I talked to her best friend and um, asked her if she could save us some seats. And um, so, we've got that going. And, um, yeah, so we're excited. And I'm excited to see the play. I'm excited to surprise her. And if you guys saw... An earlier video she broke her foot last week she actually during their rehearsal she fell off the stage in a dark blackout time and um, she walked on it gingerly for a week it was when my husband had COVID she left because she didn't want to get sick so she didn't risk getting anybody in the play sick so she was gone for about a week and um, <clears throat> I didn't see the foot until a few days ago and when I saw it I thought oh no that that doesn't look like a it looks like a bad sprain but it looks like it could be more than that too and my sisters were very encouraging to say she needs to get that checked so we sent her to an orthopedic walk-in clinic and sure enough she broke off a um ouch y'all I didn't get to do my nails today and I just lost another one I'm gonna have to do this tonight um she, I lost my train of thought. Um, she went to the walk-in clinic and she has a piece of the top of her foot, the bone, that has broken off and it's just kind of floating in there. Oh, hold on, I can't talk into this part. <laughs> So she has a piece of the bone that's broke. Um, it looks pretty gnarly, actually. <clears throat> and um, she's she can walk on it, but it's painful. So they gave her a boot to wear, and she has to wear the boot for three weeks. And then after that, she has to wear this type of um, brace on it. Well, we tried to go ahead and order one of those braces so that she could wear it for the show because... She says it's hard for her to move around on stage in the boot. And we didn't find the exact thing that they want, but we did get something. And so, you know, it's just kind of, it's one of those better than nothing situations. So, anyway, we are, I'm getting ready. Um, and then we're going to head that way. And I'm excited to... Um, see the play. I'm excited to see her um, reaction to all of us being there. It's my mom and dad, Robbie's dad, um, Robbie's sister and brother-in-law, um, Robbie's niece and cousin and his cousin's girlfriend. 
And then I think I said my mom and dad. And then two of my sisters and their crew were coming. And so, yeah, we're excited. All right, I'm gonna finish getting ready. Um, I didn't get, I didn't get any cleaning done today. <clears throat> By the time I was through going to the doctor and I did some canning projects, I was just exhausted. So I sat down and rested a little bit before having to get ready. Evenings are hard for me. I get really, really tired and really, really achy in the evenings. Um, and it's been like that since COVID, the first round of COVID I had. Um, some nights are better than others, but most nights the pain is just... So I was starting to feel that and took some Tylenol and sat down to rest a little bit. And yep. My cat is meowing. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to get my hair going and get dressed and get to the show. I grew up in the 80s where you had big hair. I would actually leave this down <clears throat> if it wasn't for the fact that I stay hot all the time. <clears throat> Tis the season of life. I hear my husband pulling in. Just in time. He didn't think I was going to be ready. It was not. I'll have to get one made. And that's going to be it. with today's video <clears throat> I actually meant to close this out last night but when we got home after the program um, I was super tired and went to sleep so uh, anyway it was really good Emily did a great job uh, because of copyright purposes I couldn't show any of the um, actual play stuff so I did throw in a few pictures that they had posted on um, Facebook so you guys can see those but she did a really good job it it scared me to death some of the things she was doing because her foot is broken which by the way <coughs> I 
Some of you guys have been asking me about her and about Robbie, where he was sick. They're both doing a lot better, and she's doing okay on her foot. She's sitting over there. Um, she has a boot on. She didn't get to, well, she didn't wear the boot in the play last night. She had on just a, some type of brace. And, um, yeah, so she did okay. She did great acting, but she did okay with her foot. I think she heard it at one point. Anyway, it was really good. So we had a we had a great time last night. Everybody showed up, and it was she was. Were you surprised? Mm -hmm. Were you surprised? Yeah, yeah, good surprise. Yeah. So, thanks guys for hanging out with me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, um, I would love for you to just consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification so that you know when I upload. Uh, I still have several Vlogmas videos left to post i will be doing vlog vlogmas up to the 24th and then of course after christmas i'll go back to my regular tuesday thursday saturday schedule so i would love for you guys to subscribe and be part of all of that so uh yeah until next time i will see y'all later bye mm -hmm.